It's the Q. Here is your host, Jeff Crick. Hi, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground in Silicon Valley, California at the Santa Clara Convention Center at the Anita Borg uh, Women of Vision Awards 2015. And I'm really excited for our next guest, Telly Whitney, the CEO of Anita Borg. Welcome. It's nice to be here. Absolutely. Yes. So uh, we last saw you at the Grace yes. Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing in Phoenix, which is a phenomenal event. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly, a couple of the student award winners talked about the impact that that event had mm -hmm. on their lives and basically racing back and getting more involved and in, in doing what eventually led to their awards. Well, right. I mean, one of the great things about the Grace Hopper Celebration is that it is life-changing, especially for students. And I also saw the student award winners today, and they were saying what a life-changing event it was. And the thing that's really nice is that they took it to heart and they created this video. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, and then they're taking it back, right? They're not stopping. They're, they're going to yes. continue to build off what they did for the, uh, for the award. Yes, and in fact, this award is the first time we've given this. So recognizing students as such an important part of our future is what we're all about. So talk about the, uh, the BASE Award that you've been doing for a while. Where did it come about? How long have you been doing it? And what are some of the criteria that you look for when you go out for your Women of Vision Award winners? Well, the one that we've been doing the longest is the technical leadership, which is core to our mission. We're very interested in women that are creating technology and leading the way. Um, and so that is it's, it's just a, such an important award to us. It's something that we really believe in. This year, for the first time, we also have an Entrepreneur Award. If you look at how that we're, how some people are changing the face of technology, it's the entrepreneurs, the technical entrepreneurs that have great ideas right. that are really important. And then, of course, the students. And the students. And then the other one is now the top company. So yeah. talk about the, the top company initiative. Um, there's a lot of, of data behind it. You're actually um, surveying and, and really collecting a lot of data. So it's much more than just the award. Well, what we believe passionately, what I believe, is that what you measure, you will change. And the top company is a way to look at your data. Entry level, mid-level, senior level, and rate of change. How have you improved over the last couple of years? And that's what the Top Company Award is all about. For the last few years, we've been giving the award. But this year, we have the Leadership Index. Because really, what we want to do is recognize many companies that have a commitment to this area, have them look at their numbers, and recognize them for the hard work that they're doing. Right, right. And even the people that fall, that didn't make the cut on the, the leadership area, as we were talking earlier, at least it gives them a benchmark, right? It gives them a place that they know where they are today and where they can improve and different ways that they can improve. I think it's really important that companies that participate, be, I mean, that this is part of the change. And so I do, I actually applaud all the companies that participated. And we want to make it easy for them to know how to improve. This is really the ability to work with them and have them create places where more women are. Right. And so we will continue to take that as a focus area. Right. And the other great uh, feedback that we got earlier tonight is that people are using the uh, Anita Borg best practices for women to go beyond women, but really uh, improve the workplace for uh, more of a diversity type of initiative, as well as for uh, crazy old men, um, and, and really use those things to improve the workplace for everyone. Well, I think that that's actually a really important point. If you look at practices that we have seen work for women, quite often they work better for all employees. And it's realizing that you have a diverse base. And so as you look at your lead leadership training, to understand that you're addressing the needs of your entire population, that all employees benefit. That's a really critical part of our work. Absolutely. So I know you're super busy and you got to get down. It's a big banquet. 900 people are waiting for, uh, now you're not the master of ceremonies, but certainly probably one of the most popular women in the room for sure. So before I let you go, yes. I want to let you give a little plug for Grace Hopper Celebration of Women 15. Where's it going to be? How many people are going to be there? Tell people why they got to get there. So we are really excited about the Grace Hopper Celebration 2015. Houston, Texas, October 12th, 14th, uh, 12th to the 14th. You want to be there. We expect to grow 50%. We expect to get up to 12,000 people this year. And um, we have some great speakers. Um, we have, um, we have uh, 
Susan Wojcicki from Google will be speaking. We have Hillary Mason, one of the great entrepreneurs, speaking. We also have a couple of um, surprise guests that I can't yet uh, announce, but um, it really will be the place to be in October. So if you haven't, if you're not planning on going, you need to change your mind and be there. Awesome. Well, Telly, thanks for taking a minute. I know you're super, super busy. Uh, terrific event. Thanks for inviting us down. We well, really you. love to come down. Well, it's really nice to see you again. And I'll see you in, and I'll see you in Houston. We'll see you in Houston. All right. So I'm Jeff Frick. Uh, we are live on the ground at the Anita Borg Celebration, not the Celebration Women's mm -hmm. Community. That's October at the uh, the Women of Vision Awards. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching the Cube. Thanks a lot. <laughs>